I want to begin with you, Akshay, because the IMD still doesn't quite concur with the views of certain experts, but, you know, they would uh, predicted a temporary reprieve and relief. Usually, you know, Lodi is tomorrow. When Lodi comes in, Makar Sakranti comes in, in the traditional sense, it says, you know, it's said that the worst of the winter is behind you. But with what certain experts predict, Akshay, we are bracing up for the worst winter of our lives. Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, for the past uh, seven years, uh, Delhi and the, in the north part of our country have been uh, witnessing extreme weather conditions, be it rain, be it winter, be it summer. And, and uh, as far as the winters are concerned, yes, we are hearing from some experts that these are going, the next few days are going to be extremely difficult as far as the weather conditions are concerned. Now, uh, we, we saw uh, some of the longest cold spells in the national capital in a period of over 23 years uh, when, when there was a cold wave spell uh, from uh, 4th of January to 10th of January. Again, uh, there was a prediction made by IMD and certain experts that it will result today in the national capital and northern plains, including Punjab, Haryana, uh, Chandigarh, western, uh, uh, western UP and northern Rajasthan. A uh, similar thing happened today, it drizzled in the national capital that has kept the uh, temperature under control. However, uh, starting from 16th of January till at least 20th of January, so for four more days, there are going to be extreme weather conditions and regions like Rajasthan, uh, where we have seen temperature going to zero degree Celsius there. Uh, in the plains, the temperature might as well go below uh, zero degree Celsius uh, to, to up to minus four degree Celsius. That is what the IMD is predicting and that is the reason why experts are saying that the worst is not over as far as the winter session is, winter is concerned. Uh, and and uh, for the upcoming four to five days, people must brace for impact as far as uh, the extreme weather condition uh, of winter in the national capital is concerned. You know, Akshay, stay with me because I'm going to also get to, you know get you in in just once we go across to all our other reporters. And what is it that the IMD is predicting? Because the IMD is not on the same page as certain experts, but the IMD viewers, you have to take with a pinch of salt because, mind you, just in the beginning of December, the IMD had predicted the warmest winter for Delhi and the Northern Plains. So what about that? Uh, but Manjeet Sagar uh, joining us from Chandigarh. Um, what is the temperature in Chandigarh? You know, there's been a short reprieve. There's Lodi tomorrow, huge Punjabi festival. Usually what is seen is that the cold recedes after Lodi. This time, it's exactly the opposite what is being predicted. Well, uh, Preeti, the Chandigarh residents uh, and the areas nearby Chandigarh experienced the bright sun, uh, sunlight after a long gap. Remember, uh, Punjab, Haryana were witnessing a foggy weather conditions from last 28 days. Uh, there was a small, uh, some respite uh, after 11th of uh, January when a western disturbance became active in this region that caused uh, small uh, rain and uh, also got respite from the fog, but it, the, the, as far as the Met, Met Department predictions are concerned, it has predicted that the dense fog will return after 14th of January. So people are already bracing the extremely cold weather conditions. Uh, the unsung heroes, particularly the Rehri Walas, the vegetable vendors, the milkmen, and the drivers and the other people Chand who get early in the morning are bracing these extremely cold weather, cold weather conditions, uh, Preeti, and uh, these uh, conditions are uh, continue to uh, prevail in the days to come. Uh, but the Met Department has also said that these conditions have also brought cheers to the wheat growers as India can expect a bumper wheat crop this year, but has damaged a sizable chunk, sizable part of the uh, potato, the onions and fenugreek crops in Punjab as uh, the crops uh, could not uh, wear the uh, cold temperatures. So while at one hand it's uh, good for the wheat crop but bad for uh, the vegetable growers and these conditions uh, are likely to prevail further. Riti. 